Hey guys, it's Colton from Peace, Love, and Happiness Club. Today, we're going to show you how to make a Venus flytrap terraria. So Venus flytraps, Dionea muscipula, are a carnivorous plant native to the southeastern United States, namely North Carolina, South Carolina, thereabouts. Generally, these plants are found in nitrogen, phosphorus poor areas, so like bogs, marshes, that kind of thing. So since they thrive in these areas where there's no richness in the soil, they got to get their nutrients elsewhere. And where is that going to come from? That's right. You guessed it. Bugs. Insect prey actually provide all the nitrogen uh, that these plants need to create these proteins in order to grow. So these are the Venus flytraps that we are going to be using for our terrarium. Venus flytraps are full sun plants. However, try and keep them out of direct sunlight during the summer months. Too much sunlight can burn them, especially if you're keeping them in a glass cloche or a terrarium. A couple ways to tell whether your Venus flytrap is getting enough sunlight. If the interior of the leaf doesn't show pink or if the leaves are getting long and spindly, that's going to mean that it is not getting enough. Since these guys thrive in bogs, marshes, that kind of thing, you're going to want to avoid planting it in regular soil for sure. Something organic based is going to be your best bet for a Venus flytrap terrarium. Just because this will provide the ideal drainage that your Venus flytrap wants. The most important part about a terrarium is the humidity. Venus flytraps love humidity. Where they come from, it's wet all around them. It's warm. So keep it nice and humid in your terrarium. But as always, don't let your plants stand constantly in water. That's not good. So for your Venus flytrap terrarium, we're going to start by placing a small layer of gravel on the bottom just to help with drainage and evaporation to keep it humid in that environment. So as you can see, we are using a uh, very much so a sphagnum peat moss based soil. It's also got some coconut husk mixed in there as well as some of our Sahara soil, which is our grainier, sandier soil. When you're putting these guys in, it's just set them in, maybe break up the roots a little bit so that they can get some space to grow out. I'm just gonna make this a little bit pretty. Here is our Venus flytrap terrarium. See, easy as can be. Venus flytraps love humidity. They also love warmth. They need it bright and they need it moist. Obviously, the most key thing about keeping your Venus flytraps happy and healthy is going to be feeding. 
These are carnivorous plants and their favorite meal of choice is bugs. So you can use dead bugs or live bugs, but if you are going to use dead bugs, just make sure that you apply it into the Venus flytrap's mouth and wiggle it about just to trigger those hairs, letting that plant know that it's time to close the mouth. Your Venus flytrap can survive for one to two months without actually feeding. However, you will still need to feed them periodically. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial on how to build a Venus flytrap terrarium. It's super cute, isn't it? Honestly, I'm pretty proud of myself. You could put this anywhere and it would startle, stun, shock, and awe. Maybe not so much, but it's really cute. And I think that anybody who loves terrariums, who loves building terrariums, Venus flytraps are a great way to go. Anyways, that's gonna be about it for me today. Subscribe to our channel. Do not forget, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. Thanks again, y'all. Peace out. <laughs>